Hey guys, Quiff the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk again about PCs to control your astrophotography setup. And the particular PC that I'm going to be talking about is the one that's sitting here on top of my telescope. And that seems to be kind of a melee's answer to the Astro PC Pro that I featured on the channel previously. Now, just so you know, what is the point of such a PC? It's simply a PC that is sitting on top of the equipment and will connect via USB to every part, like the focuser, the camera, the guide camera, and of course the mount to control everything so that you can use free software like Nina to uh, point to a target that you want to image to have a sequence to say you want to take like as many five minute exposures as of that target until the next target is available that kind of stuff basically it lets you automate everything in a very customizable way and if you have like a full zw setup like both your camera and guide camera are zw cameras your focuser is from zw and your upcoming rotator is from zw you can use another system called the uh, asi air uh, which is excellent in its own right but it restricts you to zw equipment for so for those of us bums who do not have like all ZW equipment and actually in this particular setup and I don't have a single piece of ZW equipment then we need to use something else and for me it's a PC. So what is this PC sitting on top of uh, my scope here? It is, it was in this box, it is the Melee Overclock 3C which is kind of like a successor to the Quieter 3C uh, which itself was a successor to the Melee Quieter 2 which I had been using on this uh, telescope up to now. Those are all low powered PC with decent uh, specification definitely enough power to run uh, things like Nina as I was mentioning earlier and they also come with the pro version of Windows which makes using things like remote desktop easier than if you have the home version of Windows. This particular Overclock 3C has 16 gigs of RAM, which means that I've tried PixInsight on it and I've processed an image of PixInsight on it without issues, so that's really good. It has uh, 512 gigs of hard disk space, which is actually split in two. There's an eMMC for uh, 256 gigs and then an NVMe SSD for uh, 256 gigs additional. And it uses a Celeron N5095 processor, which surprised me at first because the Celeron uh, 1595 is actually a very underrated platform in my uh, opinion, but it's a fair fairly old processor, it's like almost two years old now. But this is where the overclock from Overclock 3C comes in. It's actually a running at a higher TDP, or basically we're feeding it more power than what is normal. Typically with that processor, you'd be feeding, feeding it 15 watts. The Overclock 3C feeds it 18 watts of power. Okay, so let me get this off the scope for a moment so I can show you closer how this PC looks like. So this here is the PC. Uh, just full disclosure, this PC was sent to me for free from Melee directly. They contacted me saying they had a new offering for astrophotography. Obviously, it's not specific to astrophotography, but it fulfills a lot of our requirements. Now, the first thing that I noticed with this PC is there are air intakes at the bottom and they're filtered. And then you have places where the air can filter out, filter out uh, on the side here and even like in between the top panel and the body of the machine. This makes the PC actively cooled rather than passively cooled uh, like the older Melee Quieter 2 and 3 were. So you have a fan running in here to dissipate or to help remove the heat from the CPU. This means that size-wise, this new Melee uh, Overclock 3C is actually far larger than my uh, Melee Quieter 2. You can see the size difference is uh, pretty, pretty obvious here. Uh, even the thickness, the new PC, the Overclock 3C, is slightly, slightly thicker than the uh, Melee uh, Quieter 2 that I have here, which I believe is the same size as the Quieter 3. So what is the point of this larger machine with a fan compared to the Melee Quieter 2 or the, even the Melee Quieter 3? Well, in theory, the 1595 uh, processor should already run at roughly the same speed as the Quieter 3 when it 
has its normal uh, power or TDP of 15 watts, but once you place it at 18 watts, it should be able to boost more assuming the cooling keeps up. And in my tests for now, it seems to have been working quite well. I know a lot of people as well were worried that the fanless Quieter 2 and 3 PCs could overheat in very high temperatures, whereas something that has active cooling is more desirable. So here is a reason why active cooling might be better, Although on the reverse side of that, it could introduce vibrations. So if you're mounting it directly on the scope, that could potentially have an impact. Although in my test, it hasn't had an impact for me. That said, I don't use a super long focal length uh, here. And because of the specs of the PC, I was able to fairly painlessly do, do processing in PixInsight. Uh, I was able to do live stacking in PixInsight uh, with Nina. I was able to really use it uh, properly. And, you know, it's really nice when you can be on the PC and uh, launch PixInsight and open one of your subframes and just look at it in details in PixInsight so that you know if anything is going wrong and you can try to take care of this. This is not something I've been able to do with the older Quieter 2 because the processor there, the G, uh, J2425, I think, uh, was not underpowered, was enough to run the imaging software, but not quite good enough to rerun PixInsight uh, comfortably. But on this new one, I can run PixInsight fairly comfortably. I mean, it's not gonna be as good as a multi-core Ryzen processor on a, on a desktop, but it's serviceable. So what about the ports on this PC? Well, the ports are basically the same, as far as I can tell, as the Melee Quieter 3C. So what you get is, uh, very much welcome is three full-size USB 3 ports at the front here. And you also have on the side here a USB-C uh, that supports USB 3 speeds here. It also supports power delivery and also output to a screen, but that's not so much use for us as photographers as anyway, uh, most of us will be using this PC in a headless configuration, meaning not connected to any uh, desktop monitor. You do have a micro SD slot, which is good if you want to transfer files easily. You have um, a headphone jack, you have HDMI ports. Those are not super relevant to us. And you also have the main power input, uh, USB-C format uh, here. And that means that if you want to use a DC uh, plug type, like 2.1 millimeter center DC port, you'll be you'll need to use some kind of adapter like this one, which uh, converts from a, a DC plug to a USB C kind of plug. Now this adapter is made apparently for MacBooks, I got it on Amazon, it's only rated for five volts, and I run 12 volts through it. Uh, so I cannot officially recommend it, all I can say it works well for me. And I'll put all of the links in the description to both the PC and this kind of adapter, uh, with no guarantee that the adapter will work because I cannot do so in good faith. Uh, DPC, by the way, I'll put links to both like Amazon US, Amazon UK, and Amazon Deutschland on there so you can uh, have a look. The price of this PC, while we're talking about where you can buy it, the top configuration with the 512 gigs of um, storage and the 16 gigs of RAM, in addition to the overclocked uh, 1595, or actually overpowered uh, 1595 CPU, is, uh, as I checked it, 249 US dollars, and Amazon was giving me a $35 coupon. So in effect, uh, 214 US dollars, which is a decent price for that. Um, from what I've looked at on different websites, this should outperform the uh, N6000 uh, CPU in terms of multi-core workflows, which is why what PixInsight and even Nina are. Still, it keeps the same weaknesses as the uh, Melee Quieter 3C. Namely, as I was mentioning, the power input is a 12 volt but USB-C format. It means you need some kind of adapter. You also have the fact that you only have three full-size USB ports, whereas in the astrophotography hobby, we're kind of stuck in the past and we rely on those full-size USB ports rather than USB-C. That will change in the future, I'm sure, especially with um, camera makers like Player One going with USB-C plugs or also QHY on some of their cameras as well. So slowly, this, this USB-C port 
transport will be less and less of a problem and maybe in two years down the line it's actually going to be an advantage because we'll have fewer and fewer pieces of equipment using full-size uh, USB. That said, for now I had to use some kind of adapter that I had lying on hand to use a full-size uh, USB uh, port and that worked perfectly fine. So with that, how well has this PC been working for me uh, up to now? I've used it several nights and it's working great. I'm able to do my PhD2 plus Nina plus all of my uh, equipment without any issues. I can run PhD2 log viewer quite smoothly. I can run Pix Insights. It's just fun to just be able like without transferring the file through network or waiting for my automated transfer transfer to just like open up PixInsight and double check the files directly on the PC via remote desktop. By the way, I obviously set up the PC using my own method on my own video. I'll put the link above. It's invaluable if you're getting started, uh, but I access it via a Microsoft remote desktop and it's working great in that department as well. I've also noticed that the Wi-Fi signal strength is noticeably better than the QA which uh, the uh, quieter uh, 2Q that I have here. So that is a good point in the favor of this PC. Like I had no Wi-Fi connectivity issues. The range seems to be quite good. Oh, one of the other disadvantages I saw is that to me at least, the fan sounded quite loud when I was doing the initial setup, but once it's sitting on your telescope and you're sitting like a meter away from it, it doesn't really matter at all. I did not have any issues while imaging, but when setting it up, I was like, oh, this fan is a little bit loud. It's just, you know, something to keep in mind. Otherwise, like, would I buy this or would I buy the Astro PC Pro, for instance, which I already bought uh, and featured in a previous video? Uh, well, for pure astrophy pur purposes, I probably still go for the Astro PC Pro over this, although I'm hesitating because the Astro, for the, uh, Astro PC Pro is more expensive and it has less RAM. Uh, so it's it's a difficult uh, choice. The fact that I'm able to run PixInsight comfortably on this with the 16 gigs of RAM, I've even done like some weighted batch pre-processing to see how it works. It takes time, uh, but it does work. Uh, it really makes me wonder whether I would go for this rather than uh, the Astro PC Pro. But I, I, it so happens that I can have the best of both worlds. I already have the Astro PC Pro on my Newtonian, and I now have this one on the Celestron Hyperstar. So it's all working out. Also, the Astro PC Pro is now on back order uh, with a significant waiting time, as I heard. Uh, probably my fault. Sorry about that. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, just like with the other PC, mini PCs that are available. So this is not a difference from anything else, but uh, the RAM inside, it's a single 16 gig uh, stick of RAM uh, that runs in sing single channel rather than dual channel. There is no room for a second stick of RAM, although you could replace the 16 gigs with a 32 gigs uh, one if you wanted to like do more picks inside processing on this. But what this means is that there is some performance that's less left off the table by having a single channel RAM rather than dual channel RAM. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just know this, dual channel is better. Dual channel is very often available in desktop PCs. A lot of laptop and desktop, even desktop manufacturers will give you single channel RAM, which is honestly a heresy these days. For those mini laptop or mini PCs kind of stuff, it's like kind of shogun, you, you have to make do with it and that's how things are. And for our purposes, it doesn't really matter. It's just something, again, to keep in mind. But this is unchanged from the older Melee Quieter 2 and Melee Quieter 3 or from the Astro PC uh, Pro as well. But that's pretty much it for this uh, this video. This is just like a, an introduction to this PC uh, information. It's available. It's called the Overclock 3C because it uses more power to the CPU so it performs uh, better with active cooling. It has good multi-threaded uh, performance. It can run Nina, PhD2, and PixInsight without really any issues. It has a good storage capaci capacity. It has the right ports, including a USB-C port, which can be a plus or a minus, depending on who you are. And it's the usual melee uh, build quality. It's actually really good build quality. The uh, backplate is 
I think it's metal. Yeah, it's metal. It's quite uh, it's quite stiff, which is good. It makes it easier to mount on the on the telescope without without having to worry about stuff bending. There are of course alternatives. Patriot Astro has featured one of those uh, alternatives in one of his recent videos. It's just like it's always good to be aware aware of choices, and I think this one, just like the other melee PCs, is a very very uh, strong choice for us as photographers. So it's good that it's available, and you know I'm kind of looking forward to the day that uh, Melee decides to replace their uh, USB-C thing here with a proper 12 volt uh, DC kind of input or at least provide the adapter directly within their PC in an astrography edition. That would be amazing. Melee, I hope you're listening. <laughs> Or you could even insert like a, 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 a DC 12 volt hub if you want to make a true astrophy laptop. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if uh, a large company like Melee did that? Ah, that would be absolutely awesome. But anyway, this is what we have. It's good, it's powerful, it's fun. There are alternatives, but this is definitely one of the good ones. I'll have the links down in the description if you're interested. I'll also have the link to Patriot's Astro video to his recent PC. Again, I got this for free, so just bear that in mind. I am subjectively biased. And uh, while you're going to check those Amazon links, you can like the video, dislike it. If you hated it, you can subscribe to the channel, in which case, welcome. And if you want to support that channel even more, you can join my Patreon link down in the description or join the channel directly as a member. It truly, truly helps out and makes the channel possible. So thank you so much. With that, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.